episode 275, Knocked Off Bruiser. Oh, you're looking for death, lady. Bruiser wiped saliva from his face and swung his hands directly at Shannon. But as soon as he'd made a move, Frank leaped into action, immediately intervening. Their arms collided in the air, with neither able to combat the other's strength and gain a clear upper hand. Eh? Bruiser has not met anyone who was able to match his own strength in quite a long time, so it was a surprise that he was now encountering someone who could fight with so much force. For Aiden, the fight would have been easy, but for Frank, it was a bit difficult. With Bruiser's constant force pushing on him, Frank was forced to retreat. Although he didn't relent very much, it was enough to show that there was a slight strength and balance between the two. Frank's defeat seemed to be a sure thing. However, Aiden was still unbothered, with enough coherence to look at Miss Pierce and joke. You know, it seems like the people here are interested in you. Have you ever considered going out with a thug and a madman? Miss Pierce had been paying close attention to the contest between Frank and Bruiser. When he heard Aiden's words, he was stunned. Although she knew he was joking, she still couldn't suppress her anger. She grabbed Aiden's arm and, without thinking, bit down on it hard. I'll kill you, you little twerp! Bite attack incoming, skin defenses plus one, Miss Pierce's bite didn't cause much harm to Aiden. Instead, she just had a strange, crispy, numb feeling in her mouth. In the eyes of all the onlookers, the quarrel between the two was just like flirting between lovers. A group of people can't help but look at them like they were stupid. Aren't you both in danger? Do you really have time to flirt? Aiden shrugged and said to Bruiser nonchalantly, It sounds like she's not game. Sorry, pal. Since she's not really into you, do you mind backing off a bit? I think you're scaring people, actually. As Aiden said these words, the gamblers were more convinced that he must have been crazy. Regardless, however, it was too late for Aiden to beg for mercy. No one taunted Bruiser like that and lived. They kept shaking their heads, already accepting Aiden's impending doom. Well, it's just a pity that he gambled. He was the seven-star champion too. What a shame. Bruiser, who was still wrestling with Frank, smiled evilly. I don't care whether she's willing or not. When I beat all of you into submission, I think she'll be more so. Now that you've made me really angry, I don't think I'll stop at your little girlfriend either. I'm sure your mother is a beautiful woman as well. What did you just say? Aiden had been playing it cool, but now his eyes were suddenly filled with fire. There was nothing more sure in the world than the fact that if you came after Aiden Dale's family, you were invoking the darkest of forces to come against you. He stepped out without giving Bruiser a chance to continue. Triggering basic leg strength. Triggering basic leg speed. Triggering basic nerve strike ability. Bruiser had felt the sole of a foot make an impact on his chest. The next thing he knew, he was hurtling toward the wall. Onlookers only saw a human-shaped object flying backwards, traveling an astonishing 10 feet or more. Bruiser crashed into several tables on the way back, sending chips, dice, and cards flying. Accompanied by a sickening series of cracking bone noises, Bruiser's body hit the wall hard, smashing a human-shaped hole into it. <laughs> Bruiser gripped his aching chest and spat out several mouthfuls of blood and viscera. Aiden's foot had sent him flying back all this way. You, you, you... Bruiser looked up at Aiden, eyes wide. After a second of speechless terror, he passed out from the pain. Aiden lowered his foot, his face completely unreadable. The thugs had all stopped what they were doing to stare at Aiden in frozen shock. And those who were still lamenting Aiden's sure death sentence but now also looking at an unconscious bruiser lying against a shattered wall began to breathe heavily in a full state of shock. It all happened so fast. In a moment, bruiser has already fallen? And from a single kick from this boy's tiny little foot? Bruiser was Shark's right-hand man and number one champion. He was practically the patron saint of the casino. Many people who frequented the establishment spent their time walking on eggshells so as not to incur Bruiser's wrath. Crossing him was asking for at the very least a solid battering, but Aiden managed to defeat him thoroughly with a single kick. For a while, the gamblers were conflicted. It was cathartic to see, in a way. Bruiser had long had a defeat like this coming, but it was also worrying in its own way. Many wondered what the shark would think. If he found out that Bruiser had been beaten like this, the marks of his ire would likely not stop at Bruiser, but extend toward any number of bystanders. Frank made a small step forward. He turned his head and looked at Aiden eagerly. This was the first time he had seen someone who can kick an adult man so far with one leg. But this man was still his boss. 
What a terrible force to be reckoned with. His initial respect for Aiden was once again upgraded to a brand new level. And after the all set in, so did the shame. He did not expect that he would not only fail to protect Aiden, but also let him personally take on a threat himself. It was against every instinct of his as a trained bodyguard. Lincoln's reaction to the scene was the same as the other gamblers. He looked at Bruiser, who just a second ago had been so arrogant, but was now paralyzed by the wall and helpless. Lincoln touched his chest subconsciously. His fear of Aiden was increasing once again. As for Miss Pierce, her mouth had shaped itself into an astonished, oh. She blinked her eyes as if seeing stars and said, did that seriously just happen? In Miss Pierce's eyes, Aiden was already both a successful manager and a business genius. And she had also now seen his impressive gambling skills. She knew that there was a lot to Aiden that she still wasn't aware of, but she never would have fathomed that he was this skilled. His earth-shaking footprint left on Bruiser's chest also left an inedible trace on her own mind. Cause collective fear, intimidation ability, plus one, current level, one. Dozens of sharks thugs looked at each other, as if they were psychically sharing thoughts. Then, they all motioned at the same time for something. They each reached back and touched the back of their waist, as fast as lightning pulling out giant machetes. Then, together, the group rushed straight for Aiden. Let's see if this trickster can take on all of us at once. Chop him into meat sauce. Be careful. Frank, eager to make up for his earlier near defeat, rushed in front of Aiden. Lincoln squatted directly on the ground, holding his head in both hands, shivering. It's none of my business. It's not my business, he cried. Miss Pierce was also clearly nervous, but even in the heart of panic, she gritted her teeth and got into a defensive fighting posture. You all should have known better than to come here today. It's over for you. The gamblers, who up until now had been watching, sensed another level of danger and scattered, screaming. These men clearly were not afraid of harming civilians if they ended up in the way. The bright machetes reflected the ferocious faces of the oncoming thugs. The whole casino was in utter chaos. Many people covered their eyes, not wanting to see the bloody carnage that was surely about to come. 